Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Hopefully you saw our introductory video on the Belletza Bologna. If you haven't, please go down below first, click on that link and watch that video first. This video, we're going to get inside and explain the internals of the Belletza Bologna. Let's get started. So to take off the top panel is really easy. It's three screws right here and the top panel will slide right off. Uh, for the bottom panel, uh, there are two screws, or for the back panel, there's two screws there. Again, the intake hose is coming on now on the inside. This is what on the outside connects to uh, the uh, external reservoir. And if you see here, there's also, this has an ETL approval, which is nice because there are manufacturers in Europe, Italy that don't have the ETL. This is basically for electrical uh, passing. Uh, to make sure the machine is safe from an electrical standpoint. Again, there's manufacturers who don't use it. They use a CE standard. But now to get into the real details of this machine, and it can be a little bit confusing and complex. Uh, we'll start first start with the coffee boiler here, which uh, is stainless steel. We have rubber boots. And uh, you don't really see this on other machines, but we actually have screws holding in the wires for the heating element. So like this, in shipping, they don't come off, and you have the rubber boots for protective. Again, there's no holes on the top of the top panel, so there's, water can't get in here, but just in case there's a little shifting, uh, you want these rubber boots uh, here. Uh, here is the inbound water uh, to fill the coffee boiler. So you have that here. Here, if you notice, uh, the water uh, comes basically out of, the solenoid valve opens when you hit the, one of the three coffee buttons, water will come out It'll show the pressure back up here, come down through the middle, and this is kind of a design uh, that does occur on uh, these type of boilers. As the water comes through, uh, goes down through the center pipe and through the group head. Uh, so that's basically, and this three-way solenoid valve uh, will open once the coffee switches off and release the pressure, uh, excess water pressure here. Uh, so another nice feature. Now we have dual thermostats. One is resettable and one is not. I'm not sure what the temperature is on these, but a great feature to have is the two thermostats. Uh, sometimes you'll see on other manufacturers two resettable ones, but this one will kick, click, if it gets too hot, click the power off and click it back on once it gets below its set temperature. This one is resettable, which means if this one hits, uh, and you have to press it to reset it and it trips again. It means your machine is probably overheating for a, a reason. And typically that reason is because you have corrosion on the PID sensor. Either that or the heating element's running wild because the heating element burned out because of lack of water. Uh, the PID sensor is back down in here, dual black wire. It's really hard to see. Uh, it is held in by a nut. We suggest not removing it unless you disconnect that other side of the wire and let it flow freely. Uh, so uh, the best thing to do is to run a, a, a descaler. We don't recommend running the descaler regularly because it eats away at the metals of the machine. But if you do have an overheat problem, that would be the first thing to do is to run a descaler through the coffee boiler. There is an extra plug nut here. We're not sure why, uh, but there is one here and basically that covers uh, the coffee boiler. On this side, what do we have? We have a solenoid valve with an intake uh, tube to come into the solenoid valve. When you hit the hot water switch, that hot water switch uh, or valve will open and allow the water to exit the hot water wand. On this side, we have another solenoid valve. Again, remember I said in my introductory video, there is no control of the pressure uh, and thorough put of the steam unless you change the steam th tip. And back here you'll see the switch. So you'll hear the switch going uh, and it basically hits a micro switch there <clears throat> to open the valve uh, and allow steam to come from the steam boiler from the top through here and then through the steam wand. Now it is a multi-directional wand. As you see I'm twisting it. A little bit of movement but brand new machine needs a little break in. Uh, so there is some a little bit of movement there. Here is the connection for the gauge. Up in here is the control board. Uh, and you might say, well, that's not really uh, covered. Uh, the thing is, if you cover it, sometimes you have excess of heat buildup. Uh, and if you notice, uh, there is no um, 
insulation around the coffee boiler. And you probably say, why? Uh, the reason is pro probably because it's so stable uh, that you really don't need it. And again, you want some airflow. Uh, in the back panel, there is uh, some <clears throat> indentations and openings for the excess of heat to, to flow out of the machine out of the back. Now here, you'll see uh, two OPV valves. Uh, one of them, the uh, inbound coming right in here is coming from the air release valve that's right after the pump. And uh, the thing that happens with air release valves is it pumps out a lot of water. Uh, so they have basically the OPV uh, and then that returns back in through the water line. That excess of uh, water will go back in through the, st the start of the pump. And you may notice these little uh, coverings here. They don't really want you to adjust the OPV. The, the pump pressure or the brew pressure is controlled by your coffee grind. Again, finer grind, higher pressure, lower gr uh, course, uh, more coarse is gonna be a lower pressure. And uh, this one is for the coffee side here, uh, so for this one. And um, if you look here, you can see the C-clips uh, that are holding in the polyethylene tubes. Uh, hap that's happening there. And then here is your PID sensor. Again, if you're gonna take it off and clean it, make sure you disconnect and let the wire go freely. Because if you don't and twist that wire, it basically breaks open the filaments uh, that are going in there. And what will end up happening is you will get no heat at all. On this side, you have the heating element, uh, um, I'm sorry, the heating element posters on the bottom. This one right here, uh, is the auto refill. So the steam boiler is pretty much going to be uh, filled half with water and uh, half with uh, steam <clears throat> and that will control the refill. If you disconnect that while the machine is on, I don't suggest doing that, the boiler will overfill. And uh, here is your safety valve right here and here's your vacuum breaker valve. So a good quality one here. Uh, for some reason they seem to have elevated it I think the reason for that, and especially this fitting that's right here, is to prevent lime scale or corrosion or oxidation on that part. Because on other machines, we do see that happening because of the water. So maybe this component right here, I believe, makes it slippery so it doesn't come up. Because uh, it will start from the bottom and work its way upwards as we have seen on some other machines. This boiler is insulated. Uh, here we have the two safety thermostats, one resettable here and the non-resettable is down here below. So if your steam boiler is not heating, uh, unplug the machine, hit, hit this one. Again, on the coffee one, uh, unplug the machine and hit the one that's up here. Control box right here. And uh, that pretty much covers uh, the in internals that you find in this machine. And actually at this point, I am quite satisfied the way they have built uh, the Bologna. Well, hopefully you learned something new about the Bellezza Bologna. If you have any questions about it, please visit the website on the link below for the Bellezza. We do have a Q&A tab, uh, which is question and answer. Please ask your questions there. We'll be delighted to answer. You can also comment below. But unfortunately, I do get very busy meeting customers, talking to customers. I may not be able to answer all your questions on YouTube. Okay, so please go to our website. And again, thank you for watching. This is Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our social media channels, Espresso First, and everything else second.